Hi, this is Tony from Kate's Crafty Closet with another Christmas in July card. So here is our card today. I'm going to show you how we made this. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I went ahead and did is cut and a top folding a two size card which is four and a half by five and a quarter this is some black card stock heavy weight 100 pound so that's what i did it did did that so we'll put that to the side next thing i went ahead and did was die cut this red card stock with the stitch frame die from mft all products that i use today will be listed in the description box below in case you need to take a look at it then i went ahead and die cut a white piece of cardstock for the inside of the card this was using the wonky stitch die also from mft so let's go ahead and do the stamping for the inside of the card really quickly and so we can get that done i'm gonna pull out my stamparatus and i'm gonna go ahead and put my cardstock in here this is a stamp set from hero arts um i chose the one that says wishing you the joy of the season so I'm going to go ahead and grab my Fun Stampers Journey Color Fusion Ink Candy Apple. And I'm going to stamp it probably two or three times, depending on how good of the coverage that we get with our presses. So I'm going to go one more time just to get a good impression of our sentiment. Okay. There we go. I'm good with that. So we can go ahead and pull that out and put that to the side. And let's go ahead and put that on the inside of our card. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our trusty art glitter glue. Never fails, always works. So we're gonna just do our best and I'm gonna do my best and line it up to the best of my ability. So there we go. So that inside of the card is done. Perfect, right? So next thing you know, we're gonna do the Santa suit. Um, so here is our card stock we have. And the dies that I've got are from the Frantic Stamper. And these are the three dies that come in the set. It's called Santa suit. And like I said, I will make sure I link that in the, to the, in the bottom description for you as well. And um, so take care of that. I went ahead and die cut. This is a strip for his Santa suit. This is just some white cardstock. Then for the top collar, I went ahead and used some felt because I want to just give it a little bit of texture and fun. And then for his belt buckle, which is that die, I went ahead and used some gold um, paper from Tim Holtz as well. So let's go ahead and get a few things started you're also going to need to cut a one inch wide piece of cardstock for your belt buckle so you just want to go ahead and pull it through here and then we can trim off and line it up later but as well so we'll do that so here we go we'll do that put that to the side then i'm going to go ahead and using some art glitter glue i'm going to um put our the center part of it down and do the best that I can to to center it you know center it and to the best of my ability so there we go we have that that works perfectly and then we're going to take our felt piece also add some art glitter glue on it it will take a little bit of time for that to dry okay and if you have to trim off anything you most certainly can do that after you apply it to the front of the panel so i'm gonna give this a moment to to pull together i'm trying to line it up to where that inside part covers that and with liquid adhesive and felt that uh, the felt tends to absorb a lot of that liquid adhesive so it takes a little bit longer for it to uh, to grab and that's okay so here's our belt buckle and we're just going to you know line it up since I didn't trim it off I don't have I can easily line it up like this and we can apply some our adhesive to the back 
and if we need to add more adhesive after we put it on here so I'm going to put it about right there and there we go and line that up and hold it down if you want to put more adhesive on the gold piece you can I chose not to and that's okay and then we're going to go ahead and with a pair of scissors and we're going to go ahead and trim off that excess and black cardstock here and it's like you can met pre you can pre-measure this before you put it on there but I just find it a little bit easier to do it like this so I have a little bit of wiggle room when I am putting it together so there we have that as well the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take some liquid pixie dust from ink on three make sure you shake it up to get all that sediment on the bottom mixing together I put it into a little palette that I, I have here on the side and I'm going to grab a uh, old brush and I'm just going to mix it up and make sure it's uh, mixed up really well and I'm just going to put some glitter and shimmer on the center the center piece like who doesn't like glitter right and shimmer on and this liquid pixie dust is by all means like one of my go-to staple items in my craft room I grab it anytime I want bling and like you can put this on a felt too if you really want to do that um, I'm not going to do that today so I'm just going to continue until this is covered and the thing is like you can go back and add more of this if you need to and if I'm get some onto the red I'm okay with that as well so it's like all the shimmer without the mess is what I like about this stuff see awesome right all right so that's gonna dry for a moment let's go ahead and add our our oh, excuse me add our foam squares to the back of our card front while we wait for that stuff to uh, dry and before we put it to the front of our card so you in the comments below tell me like one of your favorite Christmas crafty traditions that maybe you do with your family like that would be awesome because it's like one of my favorite things to do is always bacon around the holidays and that's always fun all right so we got that done we got a little bit of pixie dust on our mat here but we can just go ahead and wipe that up totally okay then I have these black little iridescent gems and uh, it comes in different sizes but I'm going to pick out the larger ones on for here and I'm gonna put them on here and you can use whatever you want you can put buttons on here if you want it's completely up to you so okay that's perfect now we're gonna go ahead and put some art glitter glue down and then we're going to adhere our gems to it like so you can put buttons if you want these are like things I have in my stash so I'm using them so there we go here we go perfect and then we're just going to go ahead and apply that to the front of our card like that I was like I'll take the glue squares off and put some glue on it and just adhere it so that is our card for today for my Christmas in July I hope you enjoyed this if you did please hit that thumbs up as well as make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and when that notification bell comes up you hit that and YouTube will notify you each and every time I download a video or upload a video so to speak and y'all have a crafty day